Andre Ward is an undefeated lightweight heavyweight boxing world champion and Olympic gold medalist who walked away from the ring and didn't look back. Now that he's taken his gloves off for the final time, he is sharing his heartbreaking and uplifting stories of his formative years and unprecedented career in a new memoir called Killing the Image, a champion's journey of faith, fighting, and forgiveness. And Andre joins us today, right now, on Inside South Florida. Andre, how are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Happy to be on with you. Andre, the book is out now, and in it, you are essentially bearing your soul. You're telling your story of life and faith. Why now? I think it's a time and a place for everything. Um, you know, I said this throughout, you know, sort of the pro promotion of this book that, you know, I'm an 80s baby. So, you know, I was taught a little bit different than what you may see today. We, I'm an 80s baby too. <laughs> oh, so we were taught not to put our personal business out there in the streets. You bet not share our business. And, you know, it's also an honor thing too. You know, I didn't want to just air my mom and my dad out. And it just wasn't time early in my career. And I didn't want to use family history as a way to promote or sell fights. I knew it was going to be the right time. And I think, you know, the last straw for me was just talking to my pastor and him encouraging me saying, Dre, you got to kill the image, man. I said, what do you mean? He said, you got to tell your story. You're not that person anymore. And who you are is real, but it's not who you've always been. And that was the origin of the title of the book. And that last push that I needed to say, it's time to put pen to paper. Andre, in the book, you said that boxing was never the greatest fight of your life. What has been? Well, I think, you know, just overcoming those generational curses of addiction and alcoholism and, and really just finding myself, you know, I had a white father, black mother, and, and having to navigate that, you know, in the 90s and early 2000s, that's very difficult. So I've had many battles that that hope ultimately are, you know, helped me win some of the wars in my life, you know, and as a professional athlete, it's sort of a gift and a curse because we've learned how to deal with an enormous amounts of pressure, uh, struggles, and we know how to suppress those things and put on a good poker face because that's how we survive in the ring. That's cool in boxing, but that doesn't always work in life. So this was my opportunity to sort of bear all, talk about it, and hopefully somebody gets something from it. Well, obviously writing this book I'm sure was emotional. Walk us through that experience and reliving some of those painful experiences. How I did it was just, you know, the help of my wife. You know, she was right there with me. You know, my publicist and, and assistant, Julie Goldsticker. Uh, and just, you know, just just a lot of prayer. You know, like I had to keep reminding myself that no, you, you, you're you supposed to write this book. You're supposed to write this book. So when I hit those tough moments, um, I would have to recall those things and, and, and just re remind myself of that. And then also, you know, my good friend and brother Shaka Senghor. Shaka Senghor um, has, a, has a beautiful book out called Writing My Wrongs, literally writing my wrongs and how he felt, found his love of writing in a Detroit prison system and just a very poetic writer. And I would pick up the phone and say, Shaka, man, I don't know, bro. I don't know if I could talk about this. And he would always give me that nugget that I needed. Well, Dre, it's not about if you can talk about it, but how you gonna talk about it. So these are just some of the steps that I had to go through to be able to say, okay, I am gonna talk about this. Let me just stretch myself and get creative about how. So it's a lot of that in the book, things that I never thought I would talk about. It's in the book, Killing the Image. I mean, Andre, you're, you're very vulnerable. And at the core of this memoir is faith, your relationship with God. Has that relationship always been present in your life? I didn't grow up in the church. It may sound strange. We would go from time to time, but I was always aware and conscious of God. Right around that 2001, 2002 mark where I was in my pit, drug using drugs, alcohol every day, didn't want nothing to do with boxing. At that place, that's where God found me. And this thing became real for myself. So when the world saw me for the first time in 2004, and you hear me talking about faith, this ain't just something cute that I'm putting on because it sounds good. This literally just saved my life and I wouldn't be here without it. Great book, Killing the Image, A Champion's Journey of Faith, Fighting and Forgiveness is out now. Andre, congratulations and happy holidays. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Thank you.